Hello, everybody. Dan DeFederichis from Saratoga Report, and I'm here with Matthew Matthew Veach, Matt Veach, uh, supervisor for Saratoga Springs. Uh, Matt, uh, thanks for joining us today, and I, I understand you have some updates for us uh, at the county level, some important things for uh, Saratoga Springs residents. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Dan. How you doing? <laughs> great, great. Um, uh, you know, last week's weather was 80. This week is much more fall like. I'm I'm okay with fall like weather. Yes, yes. It's actually football season now, right? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Time for your Jets to keep losing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> it's a it's a it's been a, a long long lifetime of uh, of that. <laughs> yes. You're talking to a guy from Buffalo uh, who's suffering. Yeah, exactly. As well. Hey, you exactly. you've got so, some uh, some significant up, uh, updates for us yeah. here. Or I think they're significant. Um, why, why don't you start? I think the first one is. Uh, uh, some some bridge repair on Geyser Road for the trail, correct? Yes, yes. So um, basically, the Geyser Road Trail was uh, 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 you know constructed three or four years ago, and and the bridge that goes over the railroad tracks on Geyser Road was uh, done uh, maybe a decade before that. Um, one of the things they did is they paved this really nice trail, um, but did not have in the project uh, a repair for the bridge. Uh, which was a concrete sidewalk that had been done all those years ago. So it was really kind of uh, pitted and ugly and, you know, out of repair. And, you know, for a couple of years here, we'd have this trail where it was very nice, smooth pavement. You get up to the top of the bridge and then all of a sudden you're, you know, <laughs> in crater land essentially. Okay. And it was uh, really? not really good for the, uh, for bikes as well as for the pedestrians that were going over that bridge. So um, this year we had some money in the county budget scheduled for Saratoga Springs projects. And we essentially um, put some money into the budget for that. Um, and, you know, we worked with the DPW department here in the city, uh, you know, uh, you know, Jason Golub and his team uh, did a wonderful job uh, they spent the last uh, about week and a half uh, kind of, you know, jackhammering up the old sidewalk and essentially putting a brand new uh, level of pavement uh, on the uh, on the bridge. So uh, it looks great. Uh, they've done a wonderful job. And the best part about it is that the county was able to fund it, fund it. So um, didn't impact the city taxpayers at all. Before I bring the the, the picture up, I, I got to say, say to you, I am thrilled to hear somebody from one party Get, work together and give praise to you know somebody from another party, uh, 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 namely uh, Commissioner Golub. In this case, good for you. Saratoga yeah. needs more of that comedy with a T, <laughs> not a D. Is 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 what is what is needed more in this city and more in this this country and more on this earth, of course. Uh, but uh, good for you for uh, uh, doing that. I love that, Matt. Yeah, um, he's, he's he's been great to work with, and uh, I appreciate uh, him being open to wanting to do these projects. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, there's some there's some uh, governments where their people don't talk to each other, even if it's for positive things. So let me uh, let me bring the picture up here off your Facebook page. Um, uh, can you explain? Uh, uh, I mean, I think it's self-evident, but I, yeah. I think a little explanation could help as well. Yeah. So that was right where the sidewalk part started um, before. And it was, again, all pitted up and, you know, had been <laughs> a decade of wear essentially on the bridge. But, um, you know, that's essentially where they started. Uh, again, they, I think there was a crew of maybe three or four people out there and, um, they just really worked hard on it for about a week and a half to get everything done. And, and, uh, you know, looks great now. I, again, I, I like to tell people my, my bike thanks you. <laughs> <'Cause> I, ride <laughs> over that, I ride over that bridge all the time and, um, you know, it's kind of near my house. So, uh, it's actually something that uh, I like to, uh, to say my bike thanks you cause, uh, it's much smoother now. Yeah, you know, you've been a trail advocate, a a uh, you know leader in trail advocacy for it, it, uh, the decade plus that I've known you, and now that I have uh, kids that are you know want to get out some days, you know, some days I can actually pry the devices out of their hands and we can head outside. <laughs> um, and the trails around here that were some that we know of, some that we're just sort of tripping across and discovering. Yeah. We we are we are blessed. Uh, not every area of the state has this many. Uh, access with, with different levels of accessibility, right? If you want to climb up a mountain, you you, you drive out to Hadley or something. If you yeah. want to be on a flat trail with my six and ten year old, uh, plenty of choices around here. Uh, yeah. We are we are just just blessed with, with with a lot of outdoor options. Well, it's something that the county has been committed to for the past decade um, and longer. Um, you know, first it was open space, now it's trails, and we've had a trail program going for for quite a long time here in Saratoga County. But uh, I do want to get on to a couple other updates here. So um, sure. let's uh, let's do that uh, if we can. OK, excellent. My my face may or may not be on the screen. I'm having some trouble. <laughs> yeah, I see you, that. <laughs> you're the star here. So uh, you you keep talking. Yeah, sure. So uh, another thing that we are going to do uh, and actually uh, we have a, a meeting today on this at the county 
uh, with the same funding that the city got from the county uh, is we'd like to do a historical marker program downtown. Uh, and really the, the topic for the markers is uh, really the uh, really, uh, I'll call it uh, under told history of uh, African-Americans in Saratoga Springs. And um, basically the, the Congress street area of the city was uh, kind of the original, I always call it the original nightclub district uh, before Caroline street was popular. Uh, Congress street is actually where a lot of the nightlife was in Saratoga Springs. And majority of those businesses were, were uh, black owned businesses uh, on that street. Um, and so, you know, the story is, and we, we know this story, urban renewal came through in the 1960s and 1970s. And that program essentially, you know, wiped out the old neighborhood that was there um, and built the plaza where Embassy Suites is now in the, in the, in the, uh, that, very, that little plaza there on Congress Street, Wendy's and whatnot. Uh, and, and, the, and the surrounding area is also part of that, that project. Um, so uh, I've been working with Joy King from the Frederick Allen Lodge to come up with uh, some uh, text for a uh, sign to put there. And, um, you know, it's going to be one of those like, you know, blue and yellow kind of, you know, historical markers that just tell the story of that area, uh, because really it's something that we don't talk much about in the city um, and really should focus on a little bit uh, for people who are visitors and as well as natives uh, that 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 area of the city was, you know, quite different than what it was today. And, and really, it was really where the uh, uh, kind of mixed neighborhood was in Saratoga Springs. Uh, that's, that's gone today. Uh, additionally, we're going to put some markers up for the uh, historically uh, black churches where they used to be located. Um, also, one of them is in that same area as Congress Street, the other one is actually over behind uh, City Hall. Um, so we have two um, the Mount Olivet Baptist Church and the uh, AME Zion uh, Church uh, are they're actually both located on, on Crescent Avenue now, uh, but used to be downtown in that area. And we're going to put up some markers to just, you know, mark the site of those churches uh, that were in our city. So uh, that's the second project that we have uh, going uh, for that money. Um, I can roll it right into the third one, <laughs> if you like, Dan, um, and which is also to uh, help the Frederick Island Lodge with uh, their kitchen. Uh, they currently can't use their kitchen at, uh, at the lodge. And uh, we are going to um, put some money into that project, uh, uh, quite a substantial amount, uh, probably about $25,000 to help them purchase uh, the equipment that they need to get their kitchen back up and running. It's, it's kind of a big moneymaker for them uh, to be able to use that, but it's also uh, just, just a good thing to do for the lodge. Uh, it's a need that they have, and you know we're able to fill that need with our, uh, our funding from the county. Excellent, Matt. Can you hear me? Um, I can hear you. Okay. And um, thank you. And, and just real quick on the uh, uh, what urban development did to the city, the good and quite a bit of bad. You're mm. kind of an expert on that. You've written pieces on this before, correct? We'll have to save that for another day. But <laughs> yes, I, I've written some articles on it as well as uh, I used to do a presentation some years ago about the lost neighborhoods and, and the buildings that we lost uh, from urban renewal in our city. Um, you know, my you know, not a secret. My grandfather was the director of urban renewal here in the city. And uh, so we have a little bit of uh, closeness to that project uh, from the city side uh, on this. Um, uh, and, and again, it's something that uh, at some point maybe we could have a have a have an interview on <laughs> talk about at some point. Um, but, you know, to the lost building idea, um, you know, the last thing I just wanted to bring up for today is um, we have a uh, uh, some funding going to the Preservation Foundation for their uh, Revive 65 project, which is uh, 65 Phyla Street. Uh, you know, two old buildings that basically there were 65 and 69 phyla. They were eyesores in the city for many, many years. Uh, and the preservation acquired uh, 65 uh, phyla street and started a program for uh, restoring that, uh, that house. And so they're about three quarters of the way through the project. Uh, the county is going to come through with a $30,000 check for them uh, probably in the next week or so uh, to, to kind of try to get them over the finish line on that project and get it done. Uh, I was the president of the Preservation Foundation for a couple of years, uh, and it's something that's uh, near and dear to my heart. Um, you know, rather than tearing things down, we should be building them up. Uh, and I'm glad that the foundation is uh, is doing that project. So, you know, really just ways that the, the county can help the city through funding. Uh, and we found some great projects here to do. And I uh, just wanted to report on them uh, to you, Dan, uh, for our for our interview today. 
Um, I, I'm excited by everything you just talked about here, and it's something we don't talk about every day in the news. So uh, that's uh, all upbeat. You have no bad news for us today, Matt. That's, that's <laughs> terrific. Never try to have bad news. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess the only bad news is, uh, although some people would argue it's good news, uh, you can't see me, but that's yeah, a, yeah. Minor, a minor <laughs> glitch. Uh, uh, good luck to the Jets. Good luck to the Bills and uh, whatever yes. team and whatever sport folks you follow. Uh, thank you, Matt. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Dan. Have a good day. Take care.